So it's okay if I f*** this shit up. I'm skipping school again, do a model. So my flight is tomorrow on a Friday at 6 a.m. because that was the cheapest flight. And um, I'll be going to New York to do a bunch of test shoots with the agency that I signed with in the last episode. I'm so excited! Just reading off what my agency said to bring um, jeans, black or blue, heels, classic or, classic or strappy, tank top, white or black, tee, any solid color, swimsuit for swim digitals, multiple pairs of simple slash chic outfits and no jewelry. So sleep deprived right now. This flight, I'm gonna get some bus sleep. Against all odds, we have made it to the terminal. <laughs> really still dark outside, look. Yeah. It's absurd. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of clothes in there. <laughs> Just the weird noises that the plane is making, um, triggering your fear that we are going to crash. Swim City was I don't know how this did okay for the entire flight. There was so much turbulence. <laughs> Wait, it's stuck. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. When did you color this this color? How is it? That was bust. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. Overall, feeling a little nervous, but also incredibly excited. It's okay if I f the shoot up. Now I'm just gonna pack my bag with a few extra things they asked me to bring and then I'm gonna head out a little earlier because I might get lost and also um, I wanna make a good impression by being there on time. Getting here was such a struggle and I was so scared this was like some shady establishment but now that I'm actually here, Tia's here for emotional support and to make sure I don't get murdered. Yay! Look at that. 
Oh, and the agency says it. I'm like, what do you got to do? I'm like, hey. Why Third meal. <laughs> I was doing a full freaking ab workout out there. Oh, I was gonna hold it for my bed. I was like shaking. I was like, <sighs> and then you made me walk to Target, and I know this is New York. And people just walk like forty minutes, but genuinely, I was like losing sight in the movie. <laughs> it's like getting blurred. She was like. Faces behind me, and every time I turn around to make sure she was there, I'd give her a face, and she just happened. Are you winning? Do you want to turn? Wait, bro, you gotta win! You gotta win! Come on, come on! It's not a shoe on. And they said I could wear some light makeup. So I'm gonna do that because why would I not take advantage of that? We're also filming a beauty video, introduction video, and then like my Polaroids. I like reviewed a few like points that I wanna like go over with my agency tomorrow. Just gonna do that on the train. So it turns out we're gonna get there 17 minutes early. I got a few minutes before I actually need to go in. So I practiced my walk one last time. I'm also gonna practice what I'm gonna say in my personality video because I gotta stand out. Cause I'm short, so I need to make up for it. Three, two, one. Yeah, buddy. It's not bad, your arms are just a little weird. Hello, ladies, where you guys going, please? Make sure you're both signing, okay? Thank you. Thank you. This is the fit, everything from low foot and toe. So I got one help. So, I'm currently heading to the hair salon right now because they want to do something with my hair. Obviously, my roots are overgrown, so I need to do something anyways. And then they were deciding between either making me go platinum blonde with baby bangs, blocked out throughout my entire forehead, or going brown, um, more similar to my natural color. So obviously, you know, I had to go brown. So we're going brown. <laughs> Cause I don't want to be blind to blood. So we got another shoot today, and the name of the person that's shooting me um, looked like it was a Chinese name. So I'm very excited to work with, because this is a very like 
white people dominated industry. And then I'm gonna go see my agency again because I need to retake my digitals with my new hair color. I told my agency that this wasn't my natural hair color and like what it actually looks like. And thank the Lord, they booked a salon appointment for me again later today so I can get back to my natural hair color. I had a whole mental breakdown about this yesterday because I felt like it like just did not look good with my skin tone. So I'm really happy. So I'm gonna head there now after my shoot, going to the salon for the third time in four days. Also, turns out, I didn't know this, um, they missed a whole ass chunk of my hair in the back when they dyed it black. So I told that to my agency as well to convince them. And it worked. Let's go! Life update. Um, we have no... No money! Ooh, yeah. And my Asian parents just being an Asian parent. And she's like, it's a good I can't, I can't elaborate, but like, it's not. And like, this hair is also giving me an existential crisis. I'm doing a little better now, but like, it's still kind of like, what the f Every single time I walk by a mirror, I don't really feel like I'm in control. Waking up and being like, Oh, I need to maintain my bloating, so I'm going to have a little, a little pastry, and not anymore. Even though in the morning I have a huge appetite normally, and then go to my shoot, and then it's like 3 p.m. Go get my hair done for like the fifth time the week to a color that I don't even want, and I'm still paying for it. Where's my hairbrush? I don't know where your hairbrush is. Oh. Also, this hotel is so weird. It's so sus. There's so many weird things about this hotel. It's like, unintentionally, horribly sus. It's a liminal space. Me, when modeling becomes actually modeling. Can I on the bed? I don't knock this over. So because of last night's mental breakdown, Jenna decided to go to um, go do something together this morning. So we went to the museum and took some pictures. Yeah, just had some good times together. Just met with my agency, feeling a lot better, both about my hair and just modeling in general. My agent, Mike, is literally, he's such a sweetheart, he's so nice. Made me feel a lot more comfortable with everything that's going on. And now I'm just gonna meet Tia for dinner. Um, it's like 3 p.m., so I'm not sure if it comes to dinner. But we're just gonna get something to eat and then I'm gonna head to my last shoot of the day. I'm currently using her forehead as a phone stand to film this. It's gonna be greasy when she takes it off. <laughs> Having my mouse moment. What I was shooting with had the most mesmerizing eyes I've ever seen in my entire life. It was like green and blue and gray at the same time. Wow. Mm hmm. We walked around. 
and because of my height complex, I was wearing heels the entire time and my feet ache so much. I got some shots in. And he was overall like a really chill dude. And he gave me a bunch of hair conditioner. Cause he's, he used to work as a hairstylist before he got into photography. And he saw how fried my hair was. And he just gave me a bunch, so that was nice of him. So yeah, that was the trip. Literally changed my brain chemistry. I feel like going into this, I had a very skewed view of modeling because to the outside world, it's an incredibly glamorous job. But the little things, they really do add up. Like you're not in control of your appearance. What hairstyle you have, whether you can eat something before a shoot or if, it, or if you can't, because it's gonna cause bloating. It's full independent work days in an unknown city. Soul's aching because you're walking everywhere, but you only brought a pair of boots because you have a height complex. Throughout this trip, many times I would come face to face with a wall. What am I even doing all of this for? I realized modeling means making many tiny sacrifices, but in the end, I don't even know if doing all of this is going to guarantee me a job because I was just here for test shoots. Like, in the end, am I gonna get beat by something that's not even in my control? My face, my age, my height, my location? On a less depressing note, this trip made mental leaps for me. Camera shy isn't even like in my vocabulary anymore. As I stand in front of the camera and attempt a pose, I push through thoughts that have always limited me. Like, is my double chin showing? Does my photographer think I look stupid right now? How about the onlookers? What about them? I just do it. On top of that, I also connected with so many people that I would have never crossed paths with if I just never pursued modeling. Each person was so genuine and unique and non-judgmental. And as someone who has never really seen the value of small talk and see it as like a very tedious thing, it's shocking to say that I enjoy that now. I enjoyed sharing stories with them, learning more about themselves and just the industry in general. And none of it to me felt superficial or like prefunctory. No matter the outcome, whether Dior was a one hit wonder or if this is the beginning of a legendary modeling career, I can confidently say that I put my all into this trip and I don't regret it. And I do it again. Just takes getting used to.